You can't come into work every day and make meatballs and not laugh about it. <laughs> it's hilarious, and I think it's the best thing I've ever done. Some might argue the best thing Carrie Stalder's ever done is popularize the bacon-wrapped meatballs. Come on, baby, let's do it. Showcased on A&E's Best in Chow. Wrapped in balls and bacon. The entire day was laughing and making jokes. It was pretty funny. Now she's showing us how to make them. So the first thing that we do is we um, make a panade, which is actually mixing milk into uh, breadcrumbs. And then we move that into the sausage and beef mixture. Here's where the real work begins. Mixing by hand can be strenuous. You need to be a Viking. So you need to just get into it and arr. That sounded more like a pirate to me. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, it, uh, the sound effects help. Let's try again. Arr! <laughs> Next, a little liquid egg. With sauteed onions. And equal measures of pepper, nutmeg, and salt. More mixing. It's just about time to scoop and roll. We're also manic, so we like to be really fast. And this gets it done the fastest. Now for bacon fans, comes the most important step. So we take each meatball and we wrap it in a half piece of bacon, and then we skewer it so it stays on. After 16 minutes at 350 degrees, the bacon-wrapped meatballs come out of the oven, but they're not quite done until the bacon is cooked fully. Carrie has a deep fryer, but you could just use a pan with oil. The bacon also needs to be really crispy and perfect. All ready for the big game. So if you've ever had a Super Bowl party, you probably have served meatballs. Why not serve a Swedish meatball and why not wrap it in bacon? So how do they taste? Like manna from Meat Eaters Paradise, very filling too. You'll want to check them out. Manic meatballs open every day of the week from 11 to 9.